Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of Golden Sun. In the last episode we got some Hermes water and the, we couldn't stop them from lighting the Mercury Lighthouse, but we should be able to heal any injury with this. Come on in, take a look at our weapons. Actually, I kind of want to look at the artifacts first. I'm gonna sewer if these caught your eye. Blessed Ink. We should siphon seal. I only would up his attack by one, so I'm gonna put that on her. I don't need the witch's wand anymore. Bandit sword. I already have that. No artifacts. They do sell armor. Depths close. Definitely gonna have to put that on these two. Another game ticket. Gonna put that on Garrett. Nothing else I think that I can get here. You know what we find? Disease is nothing to the water of Hermes. So now we have to go back to Kalima. This water can cure the tree. Oh right, I forgot to set them. Um... Let's set them all. We're now in the building cave, except there I don't think there's actually anything we can do here. For a while. Oh, we can move this though. That melts that. So we can go up here. The vial. Can we put out this fire? No. Can we freeze this? Yes, but it immediately melts. What about Whirlwind? That doesn't put out the fire either. Hmm. Seems like that's gonna be just something that we're gonna have to wait for.
I can't even go to the location up there anyway, so... Now what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to pull this tree. Out of the water. Thank you, you saved me from being washed downstream. That'll be important for later. I kind of wish that they would, like, save your progress with these, though, for puggles. Otherwise, it's like an extremely long trek all the way back to the beginning.
Make sure you talk to his head before you click use for the water, or it might prompt you to use it on one of them. The water of Hermes seeped into Tret. Feel a great power spreading through me. Life flows within me once again. Threat. As you have recovered, so has our forest. So sorry to have worried you so, Laurel. You young ones, didn't you have a favor to ask of me? Yes, Tret. You must return the people of Kalima into humans again. Yes, that's right, I must hurry. That should do it. The people of Kalima are cursed no more. Threat did not always possess such this horrible power. It only started when those strange gemstones fell from the sky. Gems from the sky, do you think he means synergy stones? Do you think synergy stones caused all this trouble? I was indeed angry that the people had laid waste to my forest. They've even taken their axes to me. And those gems fell into my branches. And all of a sudden my fury overwhelmed me. I was lost in anger. The gem reached me when I was filled with sorrow. Our actions spoke our heart's desires, but we had no idea. The gems twisted my anger into a force beyond my control. Many of the saplings that have been tr transformed by those stones, Tret? No, only the elder trees were affected by the falling synergy stones. There are others that this happened to? Same thing could be happening elsewhere. Must have brought many monsters on your way here. Those monsters, maybe they were just animals that were... Once they were pure of heart, the gems brought great evil to this world. Oh, Laurel, you were given powers, too? Different from my own, but stemming from the same source. Oh, what in the world are you doing? Wait, we will soon see. What did you see, Laurel? It's true, even the animals have become monsters. And beyond the river? The river that feeds our forest? Yes, an evil forest has risen up to the south of the river. We'll be heading south across the river. Your will only grow more dangerous as time passes. You must go. You'd better hurry. You have great debt. You have saved Kalima, the forest, and me. May your roots dig deep and your branches reach high. Now the music's changed. Now if we go to Kalima... We rely on the forest so much, and yet we're here at the sacred tree. Maybe we can work to restore harmony in the forest now. You know, being a tree gives you a lot of time to think. Don't blame the villagers for being tempted by McCoy's money. No one would be tempted by a staggering sum. Just the gear you need. Not do special of items. Don't mind being a tree. Water never tasted so good. Trees are so sleepy. Try to use a whole tree to build a palace, anyways. Anything about armor? About armlets now. I could just get the armlets then. I don't think there's anything else different here. Oh, there's helms too. 
put that on you guys. Armor's pretty expensive now. Oh, right, Devin can't carry anymore, so I need to manage his inventory. Um. Sleep bomb. Oil thing. Put that on him. Put that on Garrett. Like we have anything else to use. Okay. I heard that the traveling warriors from the Gummo Range say the village. The warriors are said to be enormously huge and very strong. Supposedly defeated Tret to remove the curse. Big strong warriors with great beards freed Kalima from the curse. If you see them, please thank them for me. These characters are even old enough to have beards. Will you please go back to being a lumberjack? And how are we gonna eat if you don't work? Never gonna use an axe again. I don't think that's all we can get in Kalima. Into a tree right when the sparkles fell from the sky. Time to progress. Lima Bridge. Are you gonna cross the bridge? Oh, right. Go right ahead. And with that, we've saved Kalima. We got past the bridge. In the next episode, we'll go towards that forest that they were talking about that's so evil. See you guys then.